Next one. And what does it say? It says, Ghana economy collapses in four days. Ghana economy collapses in seven days. We all remember a company. They said another way is a comedian. Today I don't know if in the days of Mills it was a comedian. Then right now there, a common queen. Hunger has killed us. We were hungry in those days. Now hungry, hunger has killed us. Ghana economy collapses in seven days. If we do not get the IMF, International Monetary Fund, bail out, this country becomes history. I was expecting a Nigerian businessman to come and buy this country. All it is worth right now, $3 billion. Okocha no get that money. Abi Okocha get that money. Adevido no get that money. Whiskey no get that money. Tinubu no get that money. Pitobi no get that money. Come and buy Ghana. Ghana is worth $3 billion right now. Buy all of us and enslave us. Put us to add those tasks. But start with the politicians. Put Nana Ado on the slave plantation. Carlos Dojia. Samanwale. Deal with him. Watch it. Ghana's economy likely to collapse next week. And who is saying this? You'll be shocked. Come here. If Ghana's finance minister, Ken Oforiata, is unable to restructure the country's debt in order to get $3 billion credit line from the International Monetary Fund, the economy would implode within next week. Implode. Explode. You know the difference, right? Explode. Woof. Everybody would see. But inside, woof, is hitting your stomach and so a pie. <laughs> a pie. <laughs> Coco pie. A pie. Nobody's seen it, but inside you are dying slowly. That is implode within the next week, seven days. IMF. Now the minister responded to pensioner bondholders who were upset about being included in the government's domestic debt exchange program. On February 6th, the birthday of Bob Marley, 2023, we need to be mindful that we really need to be successful in going to the front by this much to avoid what we all experienced last year, which we all don't want to experience again. Ghana's economy likely to collapse next week. Ghana's economy in 2022 was marked by high inflation, double depreciation, rising fuel costs, and increased transportation costs. Since then, the economy has been in a state of crisis, and in order to stabilize it, the government must restructure its debt in order to properly implement its DDEP which was launched in December 2022, the government has a lot of work to perform. By removing them from the program last week, the administration was able to resolve its problems with the retirees who had been picketing outside the finance ministry for approximately two weeks. So they are out. It has put pressure on the government. Your country is dying. You are going to aged people who are sick and wobbly. To take their money they are wicked the government has yet to find a solution to its issues with the individual bondholders forum though the forum claims that the government has not yet paid them over four billion in interest and principal on loans on which it defaulted the due date for these outstanding bonds was february 6 2023 Dash. Come here. It is so sad that the whole nation is worth only $3 billion. Are you saying that Ghanaians, women abroad, 
do not have three billion to save this nation? Are you saying that Nigerians, two, four, five billionaires cannot save this country? And yes, there's apathy. Togetherness is not there. African unity is a farce. Nkrumah doled out 10 million pounds and gave it to the people of Guinea, Secretary, when the French went in there to punish Secretary for voting no in a referendum. We all remember that. Nkrumah said, yes, let them go. Let them get out of here. And when the French came, they carried everything in terms of in investment from Guinea. And the Guinea economy broke down. Proof. Nkrumah asked Secretary, how much do you need to put this thing? Secretary mentioned, he said, I'll give you twice. He took Ghana people's money and went and gave to Secretary. No president in Africa has ever done that since Nkrumah. Nkrumah did it. And the Guinea economy rose. The French were shocked. And they targeted Nkrumah, killed him, and set up Sekuture and finished him too. Later in life. But they did it. Why must we go to the same people who colonized us, enslaved us? Can we really trust them? Have we so soon forgotten about the days of slavery? These are people who unleash economic hitmen on us night and day. Anytime we discover anything valuable, these etchings are around. They mess us up. We see the gold and the diamond, it doesn't benefit us. Blackboard. 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 Blackboard.